Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, today's beer comes from Lead Dog Brewing. These guys are in Nevada. Uh, this is Saturdays are for the brews. Big 16 ounce plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around the label. Uh, this is a 7.1% uh, New England style beer is what they're calling it. Uh, it says here, Northeast style IPA. So, uh, uh, this was sent to me by Lauren. Uh, so Lauren, thanks for sending me the beer package. Uh, on the label here, it says it's 40 IBUs. The only negative thing, they are not dating their beers. He sent me a, uh, several of their beers in, uh, in the beer mail package he sent. But he also emailed me and said that these guys sell out uh, as quick as they can make the beer. So I don't know if it's brewery only or if they're distributing to stores. He said they are dating uh, the top of the four or six pack. Uh, and I'm not a fan of that, guys. Uh, if, uh, if the store breaks them down to singles, you have no idea how old the beer is. So there are plenty of other breweries that do brewery only. Treehouse, Trillium come to mind real quick. Uh, and they date their stuff. So... Uh, you're going to be in that business, you need to get a dating machine, Just, but that's just my opinion, guys. I appreciate Lawrence spending his money on them and paying to ship them to me. Uh, they all sound real tasty. Uh, so let's see what it brings to the table. Uh, <clears throat> uh, jump over to Untapped, and uh, there is no commercial description. <clears throat> uh, and they have it at 7.5%. Uh, at untapped and it says 7.1 on this one so evidently they've done several different batches or different years of this in uh, the commercial description on the can since we don't have one on untapped said clean the house wash the dog wash the cars now the lawn mow the lawn pull the weeds do the dishes break the leaves Or spend your Saturdays with the brews. Life is too short to always be working, so kick back this Saturday and enjoy the delicious, juicy hop brew, hoppy brew. Drink fresh and enjoy. Well, if there's no date on it, how you know you're going to get a fresh one? Uh, like I said, he said it till they are doing that dating on the top of the package, uh, the four pack or the six pack, however it's uh, released. So. Uh, I wish they would do individual ones, but yeah, it is what it is. I cannot get these guys beers here anyway, so uh, let's find out, guys. Uh, we've got the ABV, we've got the IBUs. The 7.5 says it's 35 uh, IBUs here, and this one's 7.1 with 40 IBUs. So they've increased the uh, IBUs, but they've decreased the ABV. Uh, so uh, let's find out, guys. Let's get it open and get it into the glass. And see what we got. Very light color. Almost looks like pineapple juice coming out of the can here. Seems to be decently carbonated. We already got about a finger of head on the pour already. I'm going to swirl this around, which is just going to increase that head factor. So we're going to get a big monster head on this probably. And uh, can't get it all in the glass, guys. Uh, two fingers of head. Very cloudy, very hazy, but it looks like pineapple juice. It's not a bright orange color. It's a lot lighter than what a typical uh, New England style beer would be. So definitely looks like grape juice, just an orange juice on this one. To the nose we go. Very nice hot presence. I'm getting pine and grapefruit. Maybe a hint of some... Uh, Tropical fruit notes, maybe some mango or papaya. 
definitely getting grapefruit. And it looks like grapefruit juice. Well, let's dive in. See what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Lauren. Thank you, sir. Very smooth. Alcohol is well hidden. Big grapefruit uh, notes on it. It's a pine. It's very smooth. Very low IBUs. Uh, 40 IBUs on a 7.1% uh, beer is very low for an IPA. It's almost in the pale ale category, guys. Very smooth. Very, very easy drinking. Wow. Super smooth. I'll, I'll say that. It's super smooth. Hardly any bitterness at all on this. It's almost like drinking juice. Well, definitely well-made beer, guys. Well, let's see if we can get the rest of this in there. We've got it all swirled up. And it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of uh, chunkiness coming out of the bottom of the can. Yep, looks like we got it all. Very nice. Very colorful red, white, and blue artwork on, on the flag is showing here. Very nice. Well, guys, it's right out of the fridge. Let's sip on it. Let it come up to room temperature, and we'll come back and do that final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while now. Very tasty beer, guys. Uh, the only plus I got about it is not dating in the individual cans on it. Uh, like I said, uh, there are breweries that sell out of the brewery and don't distribute it. They still date each individual can or bottle. Uh, they wouldn't have to do that if it was available here because they break them up into six, uh, the six packs and the four packs into singles where you can buy one at a time. Uh, that would be my only fuss. Everything else, IBUs, ABV is on the can. Uh, very tasty beer. Very, very, very easy drinking. Low IBUs. Very smooth, well made beer. Alcohol is well hidden. Uh, Tasty beer. If it was available here and it had a date on it, I would buy it. So that's the biggest recommendation I can give to a beer uh, is I would spend my money on it. Uh, so if you're out in Nevada and uh, like I said, I'm not sure whether this is brewery only release or they're distributing. If it's brewery only release, I understand them putting it a sticker on the four or six pack and letting it go out the door. But if they're distributing to the stores and they're allowed to sell singles, that's a no-no. So, other than that, very tasty beer. And it's into my go-to range. I would buy it if it had a date on it. Final choke. Super smooth. It's like drinking. It's like drinking a damn... Some kind of juice. I mean, it's that easy drinking, guys. It really is. Uh, an impressive beer. Uh... Guys, uh, I'm going to give it an A- minus because of the dating situation on them. And, and all of the ones I got from from Lauren, uh, none of them have a date on them. So if it's a brewery only release, I understand. But if it's distributed, no, 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 no. That's a no-no in my book. A beer advocate has like four or five guys, and they all give it a four-plus grade. So it's an impressive beer. And over to Untapped, they have it at 3.98, which is kicking the door. That's a top end of their B plus range. I think it's a little better than that. And if it had a date on it, it would probably get a solid A from me. Uh, it would be up to 95. But we're going to give it a 90. Uh, it's very tasty, very smooth, very easy to drink. So if you've had Saturdays are for the brews from Lead Dog Brewing, let me know what you think. Till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.